أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم تروا أن الله سخر لكم ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وأسبغ عليكم وأسبغ عليكم نعمه ظاهرة وباطنة ومن الناس من يجادل في الله بغير علم ولا هدى ولا كتاب منير وإذا قيل لهم اتبعوا ما أنزل الله قالوا بل نتبع ما وجدنا عليه آباءنا أولو كان الشيطان يدعوهم إلى عذاب السعير ومن يسلم وجهه إلى الله وهو محسن فقد استمسك بالعروة الوثقى وإلى الله عاقبة الأمور صدق الله العظيم These are ayat from Surah Luqman The ayah number 20, 21 and 22 <coughs> In the ayah number 20 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that أَلَمْ تَرَوْا أَنَّ اللَّهَ سَخَّرَ لَكُمْ ما في السماوات وما في الأرض Didn't you see that Allah has subjected whatsoever in the heavens and whatsoever on the earth for you سخر لكم He created them all for you in order to test you in this life These all preparation the heavens and this planet and all things you see is created for you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created them all for you to test you you can understand how important is your rule here and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made preparation how much preparation Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made and arranged in this system in order to test you you are so important and your test is so important in sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you are not as small as simple things here but you are an important and an essential element of this universe from the ayah we can understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says you can see that whatsoever in the heavens and whatsoever on the earth created for you you can notice this reality it's not just an information from Almighty God you can see that this life this planet this earth this ground this rivers is created for your life if you look deeply you can see or if you look uh, just if you look you can understand that you can see the relationship between you and this planet and you can say that the one who created me he is the one who created this planet because I receive whatever I need from this planet and I can find them in this planet it's proper, it's an appropriate for me so سخر لكم didn't you see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created for you whatsoever in the heavens and whatsoever on the earth if you didn't see according to this ayah it's impossible you should see it ألم تروا didn't the, you see so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from with this question wants to say that they should have seen it because they are living in it and they are 
consuming the blessings on the earth and they are seeing the sky, the stars every night. وَأَسْبَغَ عَلَيْكُمْ نِعْمَهُ ظَاهِرَةً وَبَاطِنَةً and has completed and perfected his graces upon you. ظَاهِرَةً apparent وَبَاطِنَة and hidden. You can see some of his graces and some of them are hidden. You may not see them but in every condition you are living with these graces. So there is so much grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so you cannot count them. وَإِن تَعُدُّ نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْصُوهَا وَمَا بِكُمْ مِنْ نِعْمَةٍ فَمِنَ اللَّهِ Whatever blessings you have, whatever grace, bounties you have are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You didn't create none of them. You didn't create one of them. <coughs> So you should understand, you should see the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this creation. You cannot overlook it. وَأَسْبَغَ عَلَيْكُمْ نِعْمَهُ ظَاهِرَةً وَبَاطِنَةً And has completed his graces and favors upon you. You can see it also. You can realize it by your eyes and by your understanding that the one who created you has prepared whatever you need in this planet. <coughs> and here Allah says, yet of mankind is he man yujadilu fillahi is he who struggles, who disputes about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, about the only one God. He is just living with his graces. He is one of his creatures and everything he has comes from provided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by the only one God. Nothing he has he could create it. He is not self-sufficient. Still he do not know where he was before, before his birth. He has no knowledge about his idea, but he struggle with the only one God. Yujadilu fillahi. Nevertheless, min al nasi of mankind is he who disputes about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa min al nasi man yujadilu fillah. Bighayr ilm, but he has no knowledge. He has no sound evidence. He says there is no God, no, no creator. We have just we are just living here and everything happened by itself randomly. He has no any proof about this saying. He has no guidance about his idea. وَلَا كِتَابٍ مُنِيرٍ And he has no book. وَلَا كِتَابٍ مُنِيرٍ Giving light. <coughs> so from this ayah we can understand that these are the sources of, of the proof and evidence. If you say something, it should be out of your knowledge, it should be out of ilm, science certain knowledge, ilm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the only one God, gave us that ability. We can make ilm. We can gather the data with our eyes and we can use them in our mind and we can produce ilm. We can produce certain knowledge. This the most important faculty that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted us. Wala hudan hidayah, guidance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows the true path for his creatures. Like Ibrahim alayhi salam said, 
الذي خلقني فهو يهدين he has created me and he is the one who shows me my way like Allah, Allah said somewhere else إنا هديناه السبيل we have guided him the way إما شاكرا whether a thankful person a thankful way to be a righteous person وإما كفورا or a denier we have opened the both of ways so hidayah comes from the creator and we feel it in ourselves we feel that <coughs> this is not true I have not do it and when we and sometimes when we hear something we see that this is tr the truth I should follow it hidayah Allah shows the way to his creation and the third one wala kitabim munir a book giving light like Quran or like the gospel or the Torah or any book or any revelation sent down by Almighty God to his apostles who believe in all of them wala hudan wala kitabim munir but it should not be changed we do not believe the the changed form of them we believe them originally as sent down by Almighty God. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يُجَادِلُ فِي اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ وَلَا هُدًا وَلَا كِتَابٍ مِنْ مُنِيرٍ This one, this man has no علم about his claim and no guidance. He do not feel that this is the truth. He just advocating it he just claiming that idea in order to refute the only one God in order to refute the effect the only one God from his life he wants to be free in this life <coughs> actually he wants to be a God by himself do what do whatever he desire whatever he desires he do not want any limitation in his life so he he wants he wants to exclude his creator's limitation over him he wants to be a master of himself but in reality he will not be able to do that because every day he gets up with the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he lives by the graces of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he cannot exclude his creator from his life we are living on this planet and Allah ruling this planet, ruling this system he is the one who created and he is the one who rules everything we cannot be free from him he is creating us every moment بغير علم ولا هدى he has no guidance ولا كتاب منير nor he has a book in his hand so this is just a word in his